everyone, Michelle here, and welcome to Psych for Psych. Today, we're going to look at the nervous systems and the endocrine system. There are two nervous systems within the body, the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. These two work hand in hand to send messages throughout the body. The central nervous system consists of the spine and the brain, and the peripheral nervous system consists of all the sensory and motory neurons within the body and connect them to the spine. Within the peripheral nervous system, there are two subpoints: the autonomic and somatic nervous systems. The autonomic nervous system is easy to remember by its Latin root, auto, meaning self. This system is a self-regulating one. It controls organs and glands within the body. For example, it regulates your breathing, your heartbeat, and the contractions of your stomach during digestion. Now, the autonomic nervous system can actually be broken up into two further points, the parasympathetic and the sympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic nervous system triggers a response within the body. This might be the release of adrenaline. When you hear a cop siren as you're driving down the road, you're going the appropriate speed limit. But as soon as you hear that cop car, you switch into panic mode. But when you see that the cop pulls over the car behind you, your parasympathetic nervous system kicks in to calm you down and stop the release of that adrenaline. And the second branch of the peripheral nervous system is the somatic nervous system that deals with voluntary movement and motion. This would be when you slam on the brakes because you actually are speeding when you hear the cop siren. So the response of your foot hitting the brakes is a voluntary movement, so that is controlled by the somatic nervous system. And the communication between these systems is instantaneous. It's not like as soon as the cop car passes, you say to yourself, okay, parasympathetic nervous system, please kick in, calm this adrenaline, everything's gonna be okay. I don't know about you guys, that's not what I do. The response is immediate, just like reflexes. Reflexes are an automatic response to the stimulus around you. Now, let's take a look at the endocrine system. The endocrine system regulates hormones within the body, such as testosterone, estrogen, insulin, and adrenaline. The head of this system is the pituitary gland, which is directed by the hypothalamus in the brain. The brain sends a message to the pituitary gland when a hormone is needed within the body. The pituitary gland then contacts the individual gland, whether it's the stomach, or the pancreas to release a hormone. After the hormone has been supplied, a message is sent to the brain to stop the hormone from producing any more. It's pretty awesome because our bodies work on a system that regulates all the functions, hormones, and movements within our body. That's all we have time for today. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and stay posted for our next biological psychology video. Bye!